about focusing on Ibadah from a uh, micro perspective compared to the macro perspective. Yes. So if, so if someone chooses like specific things uh, which they consider Ibadah mm. and just focus about them, is that a problem? Like they're only like talking about according to these specific things. Yeah. So they are forgetting the rest of it. So yes. Okay. This is an excellent question. Yeah, this is an excellent question. Brother Zishanullah Qurayshi, yeah, he is saying, he is asking the following question. He is saying that if, is it wrong to focus on specific ibadat, yeah, and to ignore everything else? There are two cases. Is the question clear? Brothers, is the question clear? Now, there are two scenarios. For example, the Salaf said yani, a statement that means that Allah Jalla wa Ala yaftahu li ibadihi okay, abwaban fil khair. Allah Jalla wa Ala gives some people more opportunities in certain ibadah. So you find a person who likes to fast a lot. You find another person who is weak to fast but he gives a lot of sadaqah. Or he makes prayer at night. Yeah? That is not a problem at all. But it becomes a problem when it was. When it becomes what? When you say that fasting is the most important thing. Don't do salah. Yeah? Don't pray at night. Or when you pray at night... And there is a person who doesn't pray at night, but he fasts a lot. You look down at him because he's not doing what you are doing. That is a problem. And that is a huge problem. Why? Nowadays, unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah, you will find people who will say, some people who are attributed to knowledge, they will say, listen, ask me about, مثلا, fiqh or aqidah. Don't ask me about politics because I don't understand politics. I don't care about politics. Yeah? If he says that he, he has a limited ability and he doesn't understand politics, that's fine. Can be acceptable, not even the best thing. But if he says, and don't put attention to politics because politics is dirty, don't even bother about politics, then he made a mistake. Yes? Because he's what? Yeah? He is what? Leaving, as our Sheikh Abdullah Shanqiti recently, طيب, uh, we were in, in, in Medina, and uh, a person came to him from, uh, from Algeria anyway, and he said to him, Sheikh, we want you to visit us in Algeria. He said, Inshallah, Inshallah. And he said, Sheikh, we yani, focus on ilm. We have nothing to do with politics. Yeah? We want ilm only. So the Sheikh was a bit annoyed. And he said, but politics is part of ilm. Politics is part of Islam. Yeah? Hukum bima anzal Allah is part of aqidah. Agree? Ruling by the law of Allah Jalla Ala is what? Is part of our aqidah. So you can't say that politics is not part of Islam. La, this is secularism. So the Sheikh said, no. Any polit and he said, when we left politics for those who do not fear Allah Jalla Ala, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Some people who do not fear Allah Jalla Ala, became in charge of us and they what they were running things away from islam is that clear okay so as one of the brothers said yesterday i was in fact speaking to him i said this is now a new form of secularism where some people yeah any speakers or some people of knowledge they are proud to say well, ask me about fiqh and aqidah, I can answer, but I don't know anything about politics, I'm not worried about it, I'm not concerned about it. So one of the brothers, he said yes. So I said, 
يعني is he proud to say this yeah is he proud to say this so the brother he said he's proud of his ignorance which is true are you proud of your ignorance even if you say well I don't know anything about politics but don't present it as if you are proud of that well say unfortunately I haven't studied that I'm not involved in that unfortunately I don't know how it runs yeah but not to what to discourage people from doing that this is like yes I'm fasting you are not fasting but you are praying Oh, come on, fasting is the most important thing. Yeah? La, la, la. You say, oh, subhanAllah, I wish if I can pray at night. I wish if I can give sadaqah. I wish if I can fast more. I wish, I wish if I know how to, how politics run. I wish if I learn it. I wish if I know the economical system. I, I wish if I know about social life more and so on. طيب. Any question? Tfaddal. Sometimes we see some people, they focus too much on certain aspects, such as, for example, reputation of other people. Mm. Yeah. And they build their whole deen on this, and they say that this is the manhaj of the Salaf. Yeah. Yeah, the question is, some people, we see some people sometimes are focusing too much on refuting others. Yeah. And they claim that this is manhaj of the Salaf. See, I remember... Uh, that I read a similar question to our Sheikh Ibn Jibreel, rahimahullah ta'ala. Yeah, and Sheikh Ibn Jibreel, at that time, this issue of this is Salafi, this is not Salafi, this is yani, Manhaj al-Salaf, etc. So the Sheikh became a bit uh, agitated and he said, we all wish to be from a Salaf al-Salih. He said, to be from a Salaf al-Salih is not by refuting this and that. It's by your akhlaq. It's by your ibadah. Yes? By the way how to deal with others. Etc, etc, etc. We have limited the understanding of a Salaf, my dear brothers and sisters, to a very, very narrow perspective. And then we said that this is a Salaf. Okay, if I say to you, if I say to you, most of the Salaf were politicians. Will you agree on this or not? Yeah. Or if I say to you, the best of the Salaf, they were politicians. Abu Bakr was the best of them. Sah? Was he a politician or not? Was he a politician or not? Yes or no? Of course, yes. Umar ibn al-Khattab. Yes or no? Uthman. Radiyallahu anhu. Ali bin Abi Talib. Radiyallahu anhu. They were the best of us. Agree or not? Agree. They were politicians. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so if you just want to take one side and you claim that this is the manhaj of us, Okay, this is completely wrong, my dear brothers and sisters. طيب. And as I told you, please, you are young. Yeah? Be careful of this micro thinking or micro understanding of Islam. What is the micro understanding of Islam? طيب. You just take single isolated a hadith from here and there. Yeah? And you just understand them in isolation of the rest of the ahadith and the ayat that talk about Islam. Yeah? For example, for example, if someone, and this is, by the way, this is the mubtadi'a way. This is the bid'a way. For example, the irja' people, you know the irja', the bid'a of irja' that considers what? Actions are not part of Iman. They focused on what? The ahadith that talk about what? The mercy of Allah. Yeah? The Prophet ﷺ in Sahih Muslim said, 
Whoever says La ilaha illallah, Allah will protect him from fire of hell. خلاص. This is the only hadith that they remember. Is that correct? The hadith is correct. No one can say the hadith is not wrong. Then one of those brothers, okay, or the murja will challenge you. What do you say about the hadith? Is it wrong? Oh, no, no. This blackmailing. No, no, the hadith is correct. <laughs> Khalas, if the hadith is authentic, you should do what? Endorse it as your madhab. Agree? Full stop. The Prophet ﷺ said, if you say la ilaha illallah, you will be protected from the fire of hell. Full stop. Khalas. Come on, akhi. But there are many other hadith. I don't care. Subhanallah. أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ Do you believe in part of the book and you leave the others? No. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا دُخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَ Enter in Islam in its totality. Yes? So this manhaj is the manhaj of the Mubtadi'ah. The Khawarij, during the time of Ibn Abbas, when Ibn Abbas went to have a dialogue with them, he said, what's wrong with you? They said, Muawiyah, Ali bin Abi Talib left al-Islam. Why? He said, Hakkam al-Rijal fi deen Allah. How come Hakkam al-Rijal fi deen Allah? Yani he made the men, طيب, judges on the deen of Allah. Subhanallah, how come? So they brought a dalil that look, he accepted the tahkim. He said, come on guys, come on, just wake up. طيب, Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala, Said in the Quran, يحكم به دوا عدل منكم. So he allowed men to judge. You cannot say that Ali bin Abi Talib did this. Clear? But when they focus on one thing and leave the rest, طيب, then it is becoming a big problem. For example, now many brothers are focusing on some people who made mistakes or who fell in bid'as yeah we need to boycott them we need we don't need even to give them salah yes okay but they forgot that these people are still what are still muslims agree or not yeah which is more stronger yani uh, side that they are Muslims or they are Mubtadi? Muslims, because it is confirmed. Mubtadi, this is according to your viewpoint. Maybe according to others, they are not Mubtadi. Agree or not? Yeah? But it is confirmed that they are Muslims. The Prophet wasallam said, By Allah, you will not get into Jannah until what you believe. And you will not believe until you what? love each other and you will not love each other until you what until you what give salam to each other صح. صح. he is mubtadi he is misguided guided righteous not righteous yes with beard with no beard okay praise like this praise like this whatever he is what he is muslim testifies there is no god but allah Yes, and Muhammad is his final messenger. Give him salam. Give him what? Salam. Al Muslimu Ahu al Muslim. Did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah Jalla Ala says, Who was a maqum al Muslimina? Min qabru wa fi hada. He called you Muslims. Yes? Salafi, Khalafi, Hanafi, Talafi, Malafi. Kullu Muslims. Kullu Muslims. Agree or not? No, I'm talking seriously. Yeah? They are Muslims. Al Muslim is the brother of Muslim. This is what the Prophet said. If he said, Ah, you have just taken one hadith, I say, Yes, all of the hadith are talking about this. مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراحمهم وتعاطفهم كمثل الجسد الواحد. Yeah. إنما المؤمنون إخوة. All the ayat and the hadith confirm this conclusion. Yes? طيب. And moreover, طيب. We forgot that when we do something, we need to think of the consequences of it. And this is a very important rule. طيب. For example, my neighbor, he is miskin or he is not miskin. Yeah? 
he is Mubtada, according to my viewpoint. Yeah, I pass by him, <laughs> just turn my face. Yeah, طيب. I forgot about the rights of neighborhood. I forgot about the rights of Muslims. I forgot about the unity of Muslims. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot about everything. Not only that, then next time I saw him and I said, listen, listen, I want to give you an advice. Yeah? Listen, I want to give you an advice because it looks that you are a mubtada. Tayyip, and you have to pray like this. You have to believe in like this. Otherwise, you are mubtada. And the mubtada are worse than dogs. What is he going to do? He will say, Jazakallah khair, wallahi, this is a very good advice. <laughs> is he going to do this? Is he going to do this? No. Come on. Yeah? Taib. All the scholars said, when you boycott someone, boycott him for the maslaha. If there is no maslaha, don't boycott him. Yeah? Because the whole, because the Prophet Sallallahu said, لا يحل لمسلم أن يهجر أخاه فوق ثلاث. It is not allowed. This is a qat'i hadith. It is not allowed for a Muslim to boycott a Muslim more than three days. Even with the three days, within the three days, as many scholars said, it should be according to the maslaha. If there is no maslaha, someone he doesn't know why you don't give him salam. <laughs> yeah, someone he doesn't know. How is he going to improve? He's not going to improve. He's not going to fix himself. So we have to be very careful.